It's just so brilliant being back at events. And one of the bonuses is getting to chat to the pros and ask them some slightly different questions. We have got our latest version of Ask the Pros. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just throwing them under the bus there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get straight into it. Would you rather do an entire race naked or an entire race in a wetsuit? One or the other? <laughs> With a wetsuit for sure. <laughs> uh, naked, yeah. I think naked. I think the girls would dig that. I'm sure they would. But, uh... <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> um, wetsuits all the way. And when you look this good in a wetsuit and you look like a superhero, uh, I just wear a wetsuit. Definitely a wetsuit. Uh, I think naked, especially out here, it's too hot. <laughs> well, I've already done it wearing a wetsuit, so I have to go naked because I haven't tried that yet. Give us a bit of context on this wetsuit. Uh, well, I was doing a relay um, in Oceana Champs and came out of the swim and it wouldn't come off, so couldn't let the team down. I started to carry on in the wetsuit and we ended up winning the race. Brilliant, love it. How was it? I mean, I'm actually intrigued. How was the bike, the run? Oh, horrible. And I just looked like a, you know, a Muppet on the bike, lapping it out in my wetsuit. But the run was just nuts. Like, I was so hot. Like, I've raced in really hot conditions, but I don't think I've ever been hotter than I have racing in a wetsuit. Or in a wetsuit. We're in a wetsuit. That's uh, the first one who said that. You're going to run a whole marathon in a wetsuit? Well, actually, it'd be pretty warm, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Depends on the temperature. Can I sit on the fence? He's having second thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely naked, yeah. Got to let it breathe, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think, yeah, well, I'm not going to comment on, on, on that. Uh, probably wetsuit. I think Taylor Reid's done it before, so, uh, and he may look pretty easy as well, so probably the wetsuit, save the embarrassment. Uh, and the entire, I was naked, I would say, if I had chamois cream. Wearing a wetsuit. Uh, I think I'd go with a wetsuit because, boringly, I don't think you'd be allowed to finish if you were naked. <laughs> oh, I think, personally, I'd rather do it naked, but for the crowd, probably probably covered up, eh? <laughs> Blind a few people. It'd be a long people. way to run a marathon, though, in a, in a wetsuit. So. Yeah, it would be, yeah. exactly. I'd, I like the nature, the you know, the breeze on everything. <laughs> that's, too, that's enough. We're not going to go any further on that. Who is the messiest triathlete you know? Definitely Taylor Reid from New Zealand. Yeah, for sure. You can't see uh, his bedroom floor oh. most of the time. Uh, Taylor Reid. Um, maybe Lionel Sanders, I don't know. He's like all over the place. <laughs> uh, probably me, actually. <laughs> Matt Hauser. That was a very quick answer. Yeah, because it's just the truth. I don't think I know people well enough to know, so just go with the one that I do know and be Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> the messiest triathlete I know, oh, jeez. Uh, you can say yourself if you like. I mean, yeah, I, you know, everyone's always giving me <laughs> for talking smack, so I'll say myself. That way I don't get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's Sam Long, hands down, yeah. I mean, that guy, uh, as good of an athlete he is, uh, he's a little bit disorganized, I would say, so. I don't know, Johnny's never impressed with the state of my bedroom, but I uh, don't know, I've seen a few over the years. It, might, it could be me, yeah. Uh, Dorian Koenigs from France, 100% uh, sure. Kasper or Gustav? <laughs> Um, a amateur and professional across the board. I know where this is going, any triathlete. Uh, Jack Schofield. <laughs> I didn't know where it was going, I thought it might have been going to your husband. No, no, Jack gets it. <laughs> Fair enough. If you had to make a triathlon relay and you were doing one of the legs, which leg would you do and who would be in your team? Um, I'd pick my husband for the, the swim. Um, I would take the bike and I would get, um, oh goodness, for the run. Um, I'm assuming it has to be a lady. Um, I don't know, panic. Um, I would pick my friend Faith. Ooh, I'd, I'd do the bike. I think I'd get Mr. Josh Amberger on the, on the swim. That way we could have some smack talk. And I think I'd, yeah, I'd just get Ashley Gentle to do the run. I'd just oh, smash, yeah. get, I'd just get the couple. couple fast. Yeah, yeah oh, you know? Yeah. And, I mean, I'm going to go with Alistair Branley and Jan Fredino. <laughs> of course. I mean, <laughs> dream team right there, isn't it? That's it. I'd get someone really fast to do the swim, Richard Varga. Yeah, there we go. Uh, are we talking Iron Distance or different distance? Let's say or? Ironman Distance. Um, I'd do the run. It'd be quite nice just to run a marathon with fresh legs, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Uh, and so I'd who's get, your biker then? Get someone really strong. Um, I think probably is the fastest, probably Magnus Dislev is probably the fastest biker around, I'd say, at the moment. Uh, at the moment, Vincent Louis for the swim, um, probably Hayden Wild for the bike because of his bike handling skills and overall strength, and then I'd try and finish off the run, yeah. Oh, I would put myself on the bike, I think. Um, swim, uh, who's a good swimmer? Everyone's a good swimmer. 
no, no. Uh, right, good swimmer. Let's say Florian Anger, because he's been out to swim ahead of me a couple times. And on the run, uh, Gustav Eden. I don't know. I probably, I probably have to go to the swim, but um, I wouldn't be my first choice. And then um, bike, yeah, I'll go Hayden, like um, Matt was saying. And then, um, then I'll go um, maybe Alex Yee for the run. I would do the bike, and then I would have uh, maybe Daniel Beckegaard for the swim and uh, Magnus Didlev for the run. Oh, I'd definitely do the bike. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what I like doing. Uh, the swim, I might actually put Taylor Reed in there as well, even though he's messy, I'll put him in the swim. He goes all right in the water. And then for the run, oh, probably, oh, Hayden Wild, we'll keep it Kiwi, eh? I would do the run because that's the required less kind of preparation, <laughs> just like running shoes. And uh, I would like to have, I was a great swimmer, maybe, Richard Waga for the swim and Gustav for the bike. For the swim, I'll put uh, Henry Skumen. For the bike, Martin Van Riel and Alex Yee for the run. That, that's a strong team. That's a good team. Um, hardest race you've ever done? Uh, I would say Kidsville. When we had to climb the Kidsville on, that was really hard. <laughs> yeah. Hard, uh, it's different in different ways. Actually, just finishing Kona when I'd blown up was pretty awful. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I think but you might have made that hard for yourself. Yeah, but <laughs> some of the really difficult, um, like really close Olympic distance races in the World Series days, where I was kind of battling in the last UK, um, I think that you know that intensity was probably the toughest thing I've ever done. Um, probably Alp d'Huez long course triathlon. Like absolutely brilliant, loved it, but didn't realise the run was at altitude. Oh. <laughs> kind of bit me in the ass a bit. Uh, I think that's coming up. Um, <laughs> actually, 7.3 Worlds here in St. George. Um, I went into that without the preparation and the run just destroyed me. Well, you still did a pretty good job of that. That was uh, Ironman Lazzarotti. Uh, missed an aid station and didn't have anything to drink for 90 minutes. So that was uh, yeah, not, not nice. Good prep for these conditions, hey? Hardest race I've ever done. Well, we're standing actually in the place where I probably had the hardest race of my life, 2012. Uh, actually won the Ironman here the last year they had it. And we had some of the most insane conditions I've ever seen. It was the only time in my entire career that I've been blown off the road while I was on my bike. And uh, yeah, it took everything I had to get to the finish line. And after an incredibly brutal, brutal day, I think my finish time was just over nine hours, which is probably the slowest Ironman I've ever won before. But uh, yeah, this place can throw anything at you and, you know, it looks like it might be a tough day Saturday, so I'm looking forward to that. I raced a race in New Zealand, Tauranga Half, and it's um, I wobbled real big on the last 5K and it turns into an off-road 5K in the last 5K. <laughs> <laughs> it was a proper grind. Brutal. Yeah. Brutal. Uh, probably between Tokyo Olympics or any Super League, I just, they're, they're always tough, yeah. Hardest race. The hardest kind of feeling I had in, in the end of race is maybe my first ever 7.3 in Bahrain 2017. Tried to do the whole race just on liquid, like uh, uh, I didn't take any energy gels on the bike. And then I thought that I had one little gel in my pocket on the run. I thought I would do it halfway through. But then that was the point when I, for the first time, saw a transfer again. So then I skipped that one and uh, yeah, barely made it to finish line. <laughs> Proper WTCS athlete making his 70.3 uh, errors there. I was like lay laying on the floor after the finish line for like two and a half minutes and I just couldn't move or like, so yeah. Lessons learned, you don't have a better since then. Oh, uh, I think Coeur uh probably when I won it last year was very hard. The conditions were exceptional, over 100 degrees and yeah, I, on a tough course. So actually a similar course to, to Saturday. So that's I was going to say, someone else we've asked had said that their toughest race was this one, which is also a tough course. So maybe you'll be changing your mind on, on after the weekend. Yeah, the good news is the tougher the course, the more I like it. So I'm hoping it's, well, I know it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely going to be tough. It's just what conditions we're going to have. Hardest race, oh yeah, Ironman Mallorca, because I finished that one and I was absolutely drained, had nothing left. So yeah. Uh, that one in my wetsuit was pretty hard, but um, Edmonton was um, Edmonton um, Grand Final was pretty hard. I was throwing up for a while at the end of that, so that's definitely up there. That's definitely in the top five, but it's fresh in the memory, so I think that's why it comes to mind. Well, last time I did Canary Wolf, I didn't make the final. That was Houston final on a Thursday night. You were probably in it. Uh, I don't think I was actually. That was about ten years ago. Hopefully, I've improved since then, but that's pretty tough. Uh, hardest race I've ever done. 
I don't know. Uh, Clearly too easy. Just triathlon's a breeze for you. No, no catastrophic blow-ups. No, not no, not really. Either go good or bad, but it's not like that hard. It's going that bad. You just kind of jog in. I, I honestly don't think you try hard enough, Gordon. So much, so much left in the tank. Sometimes, remember. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed listening and watching some of those answers. You never quite know what you're going to get or what mood you're going to catch the pros in. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that little insight. Give us a like and hit that subscribe button.